Hello, welcome to this video. Today we will be looking at minor intervals. At this point, if you are unfamiliar with major perfect intervals, I encourage you to look back on our previous video, uh, which you can click on the link here, to learn about major and perfect intervals. It is important to know about that topic, including key signatures, before we begin with our minor intervals. Okay, so on to intervals. Well, an interval is the distance between two notes. So a minor interval is a distance that is one semitone smaller than a major interval. So minor intervals can only exist from major intervals. So you cannot have a minor unison or a minor fourth or minor fifth, but only minor seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths. All right, let's look at an example of how major intervals can be made smaller by a semitone to become minor intervals. So right now we're looking at a series of intervals within C major. We're going from the first note of the C major scale, a C, to each subsequent note in the scale, creating perfect and major intervals as we go. So what we want to do now is lower the top note by a semitone to make these intervals minor. So let's start with the major second to become a minor second. What we want to do is lower this note by a semitone to become a minor second. So let's listen to what a major second sounds like. Okay, let's lower that now by a semitone. Now let's listen to what that minor interval sounds like. Okay, let's continue on with our minor third. So we want to lower that E by a semitone to become a minor third. So our major third sounds like Now when we lower that by a semitone to an E flat, our minor third now sounds like this. Okay, let's move on to our minor six. So our major six will now be lowered by a semitone. So here's our major six sounding like this. We'll lower it by a semitone to an A flat. Now we have a minor six, which sounds like this. And finally, we have our major seventh, which sounds like this, which we will lower by a semitone, making it a B flat. So it now sounds like this. Okay, so there we have all of our major intervals lowered by a semitone to become minor intervals. Okay, let's try building some ascending minor intervals. Our steps for building minor intervals. The first step is to build the major interval. So that's why it's very important to know about building major intervals. So the first step of building the major interval is to count the interval. So from the C, we will count up to, and we'll go from a C up to the D. So we'll write in that D and we'll have our first step to building our major second. So the next step after we write in the D is to look at the key signature of the bottom note. Now the bottom note is a C, so the key signature will be C major. We always take the key signature from the bottom note. Now we know C major has no sharps or flats, so therefore the D is within the key signature of C major and we have a perfectly good major second. So now what we need to do is to decrease the size of that major interval by a semitone. So we're going to lower the top note by a semitone. Now this is because we're doing an ascending interval, so we cannot change the bottom note, we can only change the top note. So we're going to lower that D by a semitone in order to create our minor interval. So we will write a flat in front of the D to lower that by the semitone and we will now have our minor second. 
Okay, so our minor third, let's start with the major interval. We have an A, we'll count up three. So A, B, C, one, two, three. Count up to a C and write that in. Now, we will take our key signature of the lower note. And that's an A, so we are in A major. Now, you will need to know key signatures. So if you do not, I recommend you go back and check a previous video. Um, but we know that A major has three sharps and that is F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So we write those in and we know our key signature. Now the top note there is a C. So if we are going to build a major third we will need to write in a C sharp to make that its major third. Having written in the C sharp and we have a major third, now we need to decrease that size of an interval by lowering the top note by semitone. So we'll get rid of that sharp and we'll just leave it as a plain C to make that our minor third. Okay. So now let's try our minor six. So the first step again, build the major interval, count up six all the way up to a G take the key signature of the bottom note so that's a B flat meaning we are in B flat major B flat major has two flats that's a B flat and an E flat so that G is within our key signature of B flat major meaning that right now we have a major sixth now we will decrease that by adding in a flat we make that a G flat that's down a semitone and we have a minor sixth. So we'll do one more example. We'll do the minor seventh. So we count up seven from our G. We end up with an F. We take the key signature of the bottom note, which is a G, meaning G major. G major has one sharp. That's an F sharp. So now we know that if we want to have a major seventh, we would write in that F sharp. However, we know our next step is that we're going to lower that top note by a semitone. So instead of writing in that F sharp and then erasing it right away, we're just going to write in the F and then we have our minor seventh. Okay, so those are our ascending minor intervals. Now we're going to try a few examples with descending minor intervals, meaning we're counting down from the top note. Slightly different. Our first step is the same though, we need to build the major interval going down. So we take our top note C, we count down C down to B, and there's our first step. Now the second step's a little trickier. In order to do this second step, we need to do a little bit of trial and error. So the bottom note is the key signature. Now since we don't know what the bottom note is, we don't know which one will the key signature be. So we have to find out the key signature where C is the second note of the scale. So the first one we'll try is B because that's the note we wrote in. A wrote in. So B major has F sharp, C sharp, and we don't even have to write in the rest of the key signature because we've already hit a C sharp. And we're looking for this key where C natural is the second note. So we can just get rid of that. So it won't be B major. So what about B flat major? So B flat major has two flats. That is a B flat and an E flat. So C would be within the key signature of B flat major. So C could be the second note of B flat major. So if we draw in a flat beside that B, making that B flat, we now have a major second. So there's the first step. Now the next step is to decrease the size of that interval by a semitone. Because we are doing a descending, we cannot descending interval we cannot change the top note so therefore we have to raise the bottom note because that's the note we're allowed to alter so that B flat becomes a B natural we raise it by semitone just get rid of the flat and now we have our minor second so we're going to do one more example so we'll go down from our, our minor third from the A so we're going to count down three down to an F so we'll try trial and error. We'll try F major because that's the note we wrote in. So we'll see if A is within F major. So the key of F major or the accidentals are, are B flat. 
and that's one of our exception keys, right? So our key signature is a B flat. So A is within the key of F major. So right now we have a major third. So our next step would be to decrease that interval by raising the bottom note. So we'll make that F into an F sharp by raising it by a semitone. And we now have a minor third. Okay, so that completes our video today on minor intervals. I hope you have a great day.